what is the primary objective of NHMS staff nurse program? Your options are disease control, maternal and child health care, research and development or infrastructure development. The correct answer is the primary objective of NHMS staff nurse is B and that is maternal and child health care. Friends, the NHMS staff nurse program primarily focuses on providing health care services to pregnant women, mothers and children. Can you answer this second very interesting question? Which of the following is not a key component of NHMS staff nurse responsibility? So which is among these is not a key component, key res responsibility of NHMS staff nurse? Options are immunization, family planning, road constructions or health education. Do you know the answer? The right answer is C and that is road construction. The NHM staff nurses are not involved in road constructions. They are primarily responsible for healthcare services like immunization, family planning and even health education. And now let's go for third question and here many staff nurses do not know these answers. NHM is an initiative of which government in India? Is it from federal government, state government, local government or non-government organization NGOs? The right answer is federal government. The NHM is a program implemented by the federal government of India. Now let's move on to the question number fourth. What is the primary aim of the Janani Suraksha Yojana JSY under NHM? What is the primary goal of the Janani Suraksha Yojana JSY under NHM? The options are to promoting tourism or promoting maternal and child health or providing housing assistance or supporting the agriculture development. The right answer the primary aim of the Janani Suraksha Yojana under NHM is promoting maternal and child health. The JSY is component of NHM aimed at prompting the health of mothers and children. The fifth question, the many candidates do not know the answer. Do you know that? Let's check it out. Which of the following is a common vaccine? administrated by the NHM staff nurses. The options are influenza vaccine, polio vaccine, malaria vaccine or rabies vaccine. The right answer is polio vaccine. The NHM staff nurses often administer polio vaccines as a part of immunization programs. Friends, in this video, you are learning the 50 most repeated questions in NHM and NRHM nursing exams in the last couple of years. And please watch this video till end to get prepared yourself completely for upcoming exams. Let's continue. Sixth one, what is the primary role of NHM staff nurses during the disaster management? What is the actual role of these staff nurses, NHM? staff nurses during the disaster. Options are leading rescue operations or providing the immediate medical care, managing the media response or conducting environmental assessments. Friends, if you get the answer, can you please comment in the comment section the right answer then again continue the video. Let's see whether you know the right answer or not. Have we done? Let's continue. The right answer is providing immediate medical care. The NHM staff nurses play a crucial role in providing medical care during any disaster. Question number seven. 
what is the full form of ANM in the context of NHM staff nurses? Here also, if you know the answer in the advance, then please comment in the comment section. Your options are all night monitoring, auxiliary nurse midwife, advanced nursing model or acute nursing management. If you get the answer before we reveal, then please comment in the comment section and then continue. The right answer is auxiliary nurse midwife. The ANM stands for auxiliary nurse midwife and it is an important role within NHM. The next question is, which program under NHM focuses on eliminating malaria? So which program under NHM that focuses on eliminating malaria? The options are RNTCP, RCH, NLAP or NVBDCP. The right answer is D and that is NVBDCP. The NVBDCP stands for National Vector Borne Disease Control Program. NVBDCP that addresses diseases like malaria, etc. The question number nine. NHM staff nurses are involved in which phase of the Demographic and Health Survey DHS. So in which phase of this Demographic and Health Survey the NHM staff nurses get involved? Options are Data Collection Data Analysis Survey Design or Government Funding The right answer is data collection the nhm staff nurses often participate in the data collection phase of demographic and health survey dhs so let's move on to the question button friends if this video is helping you then please support us by liking and subscribing our channel and please do not forget to comment at the end of the video let's continue what is the primary objective of the Rashtriya Bal Swasthya Karikrama RBSK under NHM? What is the primary objective of the Rashtriya Bal Swasthya Karikrama RBSK under NHM? The options are promoting adult health, providing health care to children, supporting senior citizens or promoting sports in schools. The right answer is providing health care to children. The RBSK Rashtriya Bal Swasthya Karyakrama focuses on providing health care to children and early identification of birth defects and disabilities. Now let's move to the 11th interesting questions. Keep watching it. Keep learning it. What does ASHA stand for in the context of NHM? Options are Accredited Social Health Activist Advanced Support for Health Assessment All State Health Authority or Association of Health Service Administrators The right answer is Accredited Social Health Activist the ASHA is an acronym for Accredited Social Health Activist, a key component of NHMS Community Health Strategy. Question number 12. Which of the following is a key focus area of NHM's Urban Health Mission and UHM? Options are Rural Healthcare Services, Malaria Eradication, Urban Healthcare Services or Veterinary Care? Right answer is Urban Healthcare Services. The NUHM Urban Health Mission NUHM primarily focuses on improving healthcare services in the urban areas. The next question is NHM staff nurses are involved in the management of which infectious disease? 
so in which infected disease management nhm staffs get involved options are tuberculosis diabetes hypertension or arthritis the right answer is tuberculosis nhm staff nurses are actually involved in the revised national tuberculosis control program or ntcp to combat tuberculosis let's move on to the question number 14 what is the primary aim of the national iron plus initiative nipi under nhm options are promoting vegetarian diets combating anemia promoting fast food consumption or improving dental health the right answer is combating anemia nipi that stands for national iron plus initiative aims is to combat anemia anemia particularly among pregnant women and children now let's move on to the 15th interesting question which of the following is a key element of nhms maternal death surveillance and response system mdsr options are promoting natural childbirth reducing maternal mortality training for medical students or government funding the right answer is reducing maternal mortality the mdsr that stands for maternal death surveillance and response system is to reduce maternal mortality and to improve maternal health care services let's move on to the question number 16th in nhm what does rch stand for so what does rch stand for in nhm context the options are regional child health reproductive and child health rural community health care or radiology and cardiology hospitals the right answer is reproductive and child health the rch stands for reproductive and child health and and it is a significant component of nhm the next question is what is the primary aim of the national school health program and shp under nhm the answer is providing scholarship to students promoting teacher training enhancing health care for school children or constructing school buildings the right answer is the national school health program aim is to enhance health care for school children okay the question number 18th under which program under nhm is responsible for the elimination of lymphatic filariasis in india your options are national aids control program nscp national leprosy eradication program nlep national vector born disease control program and v bdcp and national filaria control program nfcp the right answer is d and that is national filaria control program it is the program aimed to eliminate of lymphatic filariasis in india now let's move on to the question number 18 friends if this video is helping you then please support us by liking and subscribing our channel and please do not forget to comment at the end of the video let's continue which program under nhm addresses the health and well-being of tribal population in india options are national malaria control program national rural health mission national health mission for tribal regions or national family planning program the right answer is national health mission for tribal regions nhmtr nhmtr that stands for national health mission for tribal regions is providing health care services to tribal population in 
India. Now let's move on to question number 21. Which NHM program primarily targets the prevention and control of vector-borne disease such as dengue or chikungunya? Options are National Tuberculosis Control Program, National Leprosy Eradication Program, National Vector-Borne Disease Control Program or National AIDS Control Program. The right answer is National Vector-Borne Disease Control Program NVBDCP. This NVBDCP program focuses on the prevention and control of vector-borne diseases like dengue and chikungunya. Question number 22. What is the primary aim of the Village Health Sanitation and Nutrition Committee under NHM? Options are to promoting village tourism, managing local elections, improving village health and sanitation or monitoring local weather conditions. If you know the answer, please comment in the comment section. The right answer is improving village health and sanitation. VH SNC Village Health Sanitation and Nutrition Committee is responsible for improving health and sanitation in villages. Question number 23rd Which component of NHM focuses on promoting family planning and reproductive health services? Options are National Rural Health Mission National Family Planning Program, National Vector Borne Disease Control Program, or National AIDS Control Program. The right answer is National Family Planning Program. The NFPP focuses on family planning and reproductive health services. Question number 24 What is the primary aim of the National Program for Prevention and Control of Deafness? NPPCD under NHM. What is the aim of National Program for Prevention and Control of Deafness under NHM? Options are promoting hearing loss, preventing and controlling deafness, supporting music education, or preventing blindness. The right answer is preventing and controlling deafness. NPPCD focused on the prevention and control of deafness. Question number 25th. What is the primary role of ASHA workers in NHMS health programs? What is the actual work of ASHA worker? Options are coordinating transportation services, monitoring air quality, providing community health services or conducting geological surveys the right answer is providing community health services asha workers primarily provide community level health care services in nhms health program so friends this is the part one of this nhm nursing most repeated questions mcqs if you like this video then please comment and share your views in the comment section that really help us to bring the second part of this series. Till that, take care, have a great time.